Hey y'all, it's Lisa with Backroads Trinkets and Treasures. And today my husband and I went to an estate sale in Dallas, Texas. And it was probably one of the biggest estate sales I think I've ever seen. But anyway, I'm going to flip you around and I'm gonna show you what he and I got. And we also went to a, um, a thrift store called Thrift Giant. And I'll show you the few things I found. It wasn't a really good day at the thrift store, but the estate sale was pretty good. And we spent, I think, $75 at the estate sale. So here you go. Here's a quick, quick, quick. Here is a quick little pan of what we got at the estate sale. Not a ton, but some cute stuff. So first thing I'll show you is this little plate here, which is adorable. Hand painted little plate from, let's see, Japan, Yukago, Japan. It was $3 and everything was 25% off today. So, talking what, $2.50? And then this little box, which I thought was cute. They had a lot of little boxes. I got a few. It has brass on the side. So I'm assuming it's made in India. Let's see if I can get the sticker off. I'm not sure, because they're very sticky. Well, maybe I can. And there's no sticker on where it's made. So, But I assume it's India because of the inlaid brass and the side brass. But it has a nice little lid that clicks open. And there's that little trinket box. And it was $3 and 25% off. And then another one of my boxes, this was $2.50. And it has a little latch. And there goes my little dog's little latch. Open and shut. It was $2.50 and 25% off. I'm going to stop until she quits. I'll try this again. Until they bark again. Little dogs, you know. Here's another little wooden box. Really pretty little wooden box. Brass inlay. Four dollars and with the twenty-five percent off, it was three dollars. And then this little box here, I thought it was beautiful, hand-painted little bunny, and it's painted all the way around. And it is made in India. Sarah's, I can't read that. Imports ink. It was three fifty, so I paid about three bucks for that. Let's see if I can get the sticker off of this one. Oh yeah, I'm taking my nail wrap off doing that. It just says one sixteen. I don't know what that means. Anyway, that's another cute little box that I got. And then these little tea bag holders. I will hold the bag. Is that cute? A little baseball player. I don't know who made it, but I would assume it's made in Japan just because of the numbers and the way the porcelain feels. But look how cute those are. And then this one, I guess is a little lemon. I will hold the tea bag. How cute are they? There's no marking on this one, but obviously the same maker. So those were two bucks a piece, 50 cents off. So $1.50 each. And then I thought this was cute. How cute that is. It's a little chick and it was $6.50 and 25% off. It was made in Portugal. I'll have to read the label later or take pictures of it and enlarge it for me to be able to read that but that's so cute. Cute little chick. And then I got this rooster which is beautiful. It is a beautiful, beautiful of pottery. It was $7.50 and it is numbered and made in Italy. Number 19 of 235. So I have to do a little research on that and it's taped but there's no chips or cracks. A little tiny chip right there on the on the crown of his head. But the beak's good. Tail might have a tiny chip. I can't really see it if it is. Let me feel it. 
I don't, it doesn't feel like a chip. But anyway, $7.50 for the rooster. And then we got this gorgeous plate. Look at this. The detail in this is phenomenal. Look at that with all the gold. It's beautiful. It was $9.50 and 25% off of that. And then, let's see. And I would assume that's Russian. I cannot read it. If anyone can read Russian, great. But I, I got it because I thought it was beautiful. The detail, I don't know the story behind it or what it's supposed to represent, but maybe somebody does. You can inform me. And then this little trinket dish, $3, and again, 25% off. And it's signed and made in Japan. And of course, I can't read that signature. And these beautiful cups and saucers. Look at that. Poor Chow, made in Japan. And this. So I got two of those cups and saucers. And I believe the cups were two and they had the saucers for a dollar. So three dollars each. And then I got this for $9.50. I'll have to see if it is uranium and will glow. It's a compote. And then this glass turtle. Clear and smooth base. It's blown turtle. Maybe it's Murano. Sorry, I had an interruption. My husband was calling because he needed some water. He was outside blowing the limbs off the roof. So to finish this up here, I think it's a polar bear and I want to say it is Goble. I'm pretty sure it's Goble. Yes, it is. So there's a little polar bear. And I love these. These are little fish bowls. They're painted all the way around and they are made in Italy. You can't see that one very well, but the other one you'll be able to read better. But look how cute these are. The little lips on them. Very cute painting. Let's see. They were $4 a piece, so that was $3, but they were made in Italy. And they actually don't have any cracks or chips. So there's my little fish bowls. So I got that from Italy. And that for Emily. And then I have to show you my favorite. Oh, let's see if this glows. I had to go get my little, oh, I'm getting all excited here. My husband got this. It was $15 and 25% off. It's a little bone handle knife. He's keeping this, we're not selling this. And let's see, it's from Germany. Made in Germany, Baron Seligen. Germany and it's a little bone handle knife. A little nice old knife that definitely has no blade. But I can take care of that. I will sharpen that and get an edge on that like you can't imagine. And then here is my favorite. Oh, I went and got my little and yes, yes it is. Look at that glow. That was $9.50. Ooh, that's pretty, isn't it? Little compote. So, I don't see any markings on it. I'll have to look a little closer later. Now, to show you my favorite item that I got. And I know 
y'all probably won't care about this as much as I do, but this to me was amazing. Amazing. It was ten dollars and twenty-five percent off. And it was full of these. Look at this. Look at that. And each one has the name of the famous American on here. And we have Susan B. Anthony. Let's see, I saw a date when these were made. Let's see if I can find it again. This was I'm not sure the date on this one. But I saw some that were 1979. But here is Susan B. Anthony. And then we have oh, this. this tape is really stuck to her. Hang on. I do her off. There's two of her. There's two of this little lady. We have two of these. And let's see. This is Clara Barton, our favorite American nurse. How about that? So we have Betsy Ross. Clara Barton. I bet this is Pocahontas. I'll look and check. But look how cute these are. Little cloth dolls. Let's see. This is Indian Girl. Okay. Her name's not Pocahontas, but I may just call her that. And then I'm sure this is Betsy Ross. I'm guessing, but I think it's a pretty good guess. Let's get that out of her face. Molly. Molly Pitcher. I was wrong. It is not Betsy Ross. There's August 1979. There's 79 on this one. And then we have, let's see, I bet this is Thomas Jefferson with the Declaration of Independence. I don't know if he is a Hallmark one, though. Hallmark Cards 2000. Yeah, he is. But he's from 2000, so he's not near as old. And then we have... Who is this? Mary Paul Ben Franklin? P.T. Barnum. There you go, from the circus. And then, let's see, who else we have that's famous? They think that's Davy Crockett? I would think it's Davy Crockett, but I've been wrong twice now, so. Let's see who this is. I could get it to focus. Davy Crockett, I'm so right, look at that. And then, I would think that's an Indian man. Since the other one was at Pocahontas, I'm not even gonna guess who this is. This is February 1979. I knew I saw 79. And this is, let's see, Chief Joseph. I have to say, I guess I'm not very good on American history because I don't know who Chief Joseph, Joseph is. What is this? Oh, we got an Anna Lee thrown in here. That's okay. Who doesn't love a cute little Anna Lee? Baby witch. I'll take that. And then we have this, who doesn't look like an American hero, but it's a Hallmark one. Maybe. Yes. And it's just doll toy. Drum boy. So we have a Christmas boy in with these. And then we have who would this be? Because we already had a Betsy Ross. This is Hallmark. Another Betsy Ross. So we have two Betsy Rosses. Right? Yeah, we have this one. And then we have this one. Wasn't that Betsy Ross? Or am I mistaken? Oh, that was Molly Pitcher. 
I could have sworn I saw Betsy Ross. I guess not. I guess not. Okay, I was wrong. I see another red in here. The tape is just sticking to everything. Here we have another Clara Barton. We have three Clara Bartons. And I bet this is Amelia Earhart. That's just my guess. Either that or Lindbergh, but it looks like a girl. Let's see. This is Amelia Earhart. Got another one right. And I don't know who this is. Or what she represents, but I guess we can read. Another Molly picture, but she doesn't have a flag with her on this one. I'll have to figure out who that is and look that up. I don't know. I might be embarrassed to say I don't know, but I don't. Oh, I bet we could all guess who that is. Right? Edison? Let's see. Oh, Mark Twain. Dang it. I'm wrong again. It's Mark Twain. Okay, I think this might be the guy who did the peanuts. Maybe. Black Doctor, American Hero, Carver, is that his name? George Washington Carver. Hey, I got another one right. Uh, I would say that's a witch. Let's see what they call her. Witch. Then we have, oh, I'm stuck. Of course, we all know who that is, right? St. Nicholas, Santa Claus, ho, ho, ho. And let's see, we have Santa. And then this is obviously just thrown in there. And then the little cloth doll. Oh, maybe she wasn't supposed to be in there because she has a dollar on her head. I guess I got her as a bonus. And then just a little bunny. I don't know if that's part of the Hallmark stuff either. I don't think so. Nope, but that's it. Here's all of our American heroes. Is that not the coolest thing? I love that. I was so excited to see these because I've never seen them before. And wouldn't that be good in a school with a teacher? In a classroom for kids? Yeah, here's three Clara Barton. So she must have been really, really loved by the lady who had this estate. Molly Pitcher, who I'm, I have to say, I have to look that up. Chief Joseph, was that his name? I gotta look that up too. I know Davy Crockett, King of the Wild Frontier. Barnum, Barnum and Bailey Circus. And we know Jefferson. And that's all my little famous people, but anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I have another one coming since I went to a um, thrift giant. Y'all have a good day, and I'm about to start filming the other one.